The boxes are stacked in the trailer and taken directly to the cellar. Before these grapes are put into tank, a further selection is carried out, removing any flawed or unripe grapes. A conveyor belt transports the grapes to the destemmer, where the stalks are removed. In the case of white or rosé wines, the grapes are pressed and the skin, together with the pips, are separated from the juice. For red wines, the skins are kept with the juice in tank, where the maceration and alcoholic fermentation will take place. Once the harvest is complete, the annual work cycle of Anate is focused on the cellars where the carefully produced musts become exquisite and valuable wines. Due to its taint-free properties, its thermal conductivity and its stability over time, the most utilized material in the Anate cellars is stainless steel. The must for the white grapes goes through a cold maceration in the press. The juice is then fermented in temperature-controlled tanks. For the production of rosé wines, black grapes undergo maceration for a few hours to release some colour from the skins. The juice is then separated from the skins and moved into fermentation tanks. The maceration of the red wine is carried out by remontage. The self-emptying tanks are equipped with a rising system that pumps wine from the bottom of the tank and showers it over the skins at the top of the tank. This results in a better extraction of colouring matter from the skin during fermentation. During this process, the temperature of the tank is computer controlled, with cooling jackets around the tank. After a period of fermentation and maceration in tank, determined by the enologist, the free-run juice is taken from the tank and filtered to remove any pips or skin that remain in suspension. After the extraction of the free-run juice, the remaining pumice is pumped to the presses. The self-emptying tanks allow the automatic extraction of the fermented pumice through hydraulic or electric systems, avoiding the need for a worker to enter the tank and carry out the operation. The pumice is pumped to automatic presses, and any liquid remaining is extracted. The press wine obtained is kept in different tanks to the free-run wine. In the tanks, the wine undergoes a malolactic fermentation, where the action of bacteria turns malic acid into lactic acid. Despite the technical aspects of the winemaking process and analysis in the laboratory, at Anate, it is still important to verify the organoleptic characteristics of the wine through tasting. Throughout the winemaking process, the laboratory assists the winemakers, ensuring the quality of the wine. The monitoring of many parameters is a guarantee that the wines will have the continuity with those produced with the ancient arts inherited from our ancestors. Once the wine has completed its fermentation in tank, the wine is separated by variety and vineyard area, goes to the cellar and is put into oak barrels. In the barrels, the wine begins the period of oxidation that develops its taste and bouquet and acquires additional complexity from the wood. The finest of Anatis red wines, such as Reserva Especial and Merlot Merlot, undergo malolactic fermentation within barrel, 